now in chapter 7 we are going to discuss about the lifelines of national economy the lifelines of national economy means the most important organs for our national economy as in our body parts how we have the blood veins which carry the blood from every corner to the heart that brings the blood from every corner of our body to the heart to get connected in the same way for our national economy to develop nowadays transport is playing a very very large role transport if you remember about transport prior to the 18th century before the disco- discovery of science and invention or modern technology earlier we used to restrain ourselves to few villages few regions because that time traveling was a very difficult task but as the science and technology has advanced today we have large number of transport facilities increasing and today transportation has become very very easy task that has made the world to be a global village earlier we used to have difficulty to travel from one corner to the other corner of a state or a country but as the time passed with the inventions of modernization of transport system today you have various means of transport the fastest means of transport which can make us to understand or which can make us to travel very fast and very quickly to reach our destinations earlier traveling from one continent to another continent was a dream many people lost their lives in the journey of this when vasco da gama started his journey to discover a sea route to india he started his journey with around some 3000 people but he was able to reach back to his home destination with a few hundreds of people he started in two ships but he was able to get back only in one ship so there are really practical problems and it took nearly 3 to 4 years for him to travel to rediscover and again to get back but today within a span of hours we can definitely get back to the previous destinations in this way we can definitely try to get some good approaches towards transport today actually the entire world has become a global village today you can travel from one corner to another corner any corner any place with fastest means of communication so transportation is very very important because if transportation facilities are provided the transport of the raw materials becomes very easy once the transportation is provided the transportation gets the raw materials transferring from one place to another place very easy yes a people transportation also is very very important but at the same time when it comes to the raw material transport raw material getting transported from one region to another region is a very very vital important aspect of the modern day because without the raw material getting transported any industry cannot develop without having industries any country cannot develop so in order to see the development of a nation you need to have more number of factories more number of industries for which a very good transport network is highly important so if you have the transport well the raw material transportation it becomes easy which gives a boom for industries or factories so once the industries and the factories are getting its boom and finally it reaches to its destination then the country will automatically come into the lines of progress once a large number of industries large number of factories are established in the country with good transport system it automatically provides employment for the people this brings the employment opportunities so once the roads network is laid down the transportation has developed that automatically brings factories from factories we get the raw materials available to the people and from the place where the raw materials have to be carried 
to the factory and factory to the marketplace so the final destinations and from then we automatically get the employment opportunities once the employment opportunities are generated for the people to work instead of getting dependent on the regular uh, basic occupations like agriculture people get transformed from the basic structure of occupations to the secondary category of occupations where industries and factories are coming in that category then automatically the standard of living of the people becomes stable and higher than the previous levels and it also gets another type of employment called transport services we get various kind of auto rickshaws various various kind of buses public transport private transport tax cabs all these will also generate the transport services this is also an another source of employment opportunities which are provided to the people in regards to transport so when transport is developing automatically the infrastructure of the road will develop then it also brings that connectivity between the interior lands to the far off places and when interior plan interior lands and the far off places the factory destinations are coming closer which will generate employment opportunities for the people and also generate the transport services once the factories are established they started to give opportunities for the people in terms of employment and in order to get the final product outside marketing will develop people's inhabitation will develop automatically that country will start to progress so if a country needs to get its progression if a country needs to develop automatically it leads to development when we have a good transport system that's the reason why it is rightly remarked as the lifelines of national economy any country to be developed any country to achieve its target of development any country to become modernized the basic requirement for is it is that they should have perfect uh, transport system it may be in the form of roadways it may be in the form of railways it may be in the form of waterways it may be in the form of airways if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus